Overwatch 2 is a great game, but it can be frustrating when it keeps crashing. Luckily, there are some simple steps you can take to fix all the problems. In this video, I will show you how to fix Overwatch 2 crashing on your PC. If you are having problems with the game, make sure to watch this video until the very end so that you can get back to playing Overwatch 2. To get started, move your mouse cursor to the Overwatch 2 icon, right-click it, and then click on Open File Location. After that, double-click on the Retail folder, and then right-click on the Overwatch.exe file, and click on Properties. And then go over to the Compatibility tab and check these two boxes. Disable Full Screen Optimization, and run this program as an administrator. After that, click on Apply, and then click on OK. After that, move your mouse cursor to the left side of the screen and click on Local Disk C. Then double-click on the Windows folder. Then find the System32 folder and double-click it. Once you are in the System32 folder, click on the search option at the top right and search for rzchromas dk64.dll. I'll put this name in the description of the video. Just copy it from there. So you want to delete this file because this file messes your game up. And don't worry, this file is not a super important Windows file or an Overwatch file. After that, you should close any programs running in the background, such as keyboard and mouse applications from Logitech, Razer Cortex, or software like MSI Afterburner, while playing Overwatch, as these may cause friction with the game and cause it to crash. And the next thing that you want to do is move your mouse cursor to the bottom left corner of the screen, and then click on the magnifying glass icon over here. Then search for graphic settings. and then click on this exact search result. Once you are on this page, click on Browse, and you want to add the Overwatch EXE to this. The default path of the EXE is this. Local Disk C, Program Files x86, Overwatch, Retail. After you added that, click on the Overwatch application. Then click on Options and then make sure you are using the high performance option. If you are using power saving or something else, change it to high performance and click on save. Once you do that, click on this home icon over here. So once you are on this screen, click on update, and then click on check for updates button over here, and download and install all the available updates, including any optional updates. Another thing that I'd like to quickly mention is that if you have an outdated graphics card driver, just update it to the latest version. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, download NVIDIA GeForce Experience and then click on the drivers option at the top left. And then click on check for updates. And it will download and install the latest version of the NVIDIA graphics card driver on your PC. So, after you've updated Windows and the graphics card driver, Go back to the home screen, click on system, and then click on power and sleep. Then click on additional power settings. And it will open up this window. So now what you want to do next is make sure you are using the high performance option. If you can't see this option, just click on Show Additional Plans to expand it and the High Performance option will be there. Once you've enabled the High Performance mode, close it down. But don't close the settings yet. You need to go back to the home page and click on Gaming. And you want to toggle off the Xbox Game Bar. After that, click on Game Mode. You also need to toggle that off because it might conflict with the game and cause it to crash. So once you do all of these things, all you have to do next is restart your PC and then open up your game, and it should run very smoothly without any issues. If none of these things worked for you, then what you want to do next is open up the Battle.net desktop app.
Click on Games, and go over to the Overwatch 2 section. Once you are on this screen, click on this gear icon next to the play button. And it will show you a bunch of options. So, from these options, simply click on Scan and Repair, and then click on Begin Scan. So now this will fix any missing or corrupted files associated with your game that are causing it to crash. After that, just click on play and you should not have any issues with the game. However, if scanning and repairing the files didn't fix your issue, click on this gear icon one more time, and then click on game settings. And then put a check mark on this. Additional command line arguments, and then simply copy the code that's in my video description and paste it over here, in this empty box. After you enter that code, click on, done, and you should be good to go. If you are still experiencing crashes from time to time, then what you want to do next is open up the task manager, and click on this small arrow icon next to the Overwatch application. And then right-click on the Overwatch application, and it will show you a couple of options. So from these options, click on Go to Details, and then right-click on the Overwatch.exe, and set the priority as real-time, and then click on Change Priority. And now your PC will prioritize Overwatch 2 and give it more RAM, CPU, and GPU usage. After that, go back to your game and click on the ESC key on your keyboard to open up the in-game menu. And then click on Options. And then, in the video section, make sure to turn off the dynamic render scale. Then the NVIDIA reflex should be either turned off or set to enabled. Don't use the enabled plus boost. And finally, make sure to play the game in full screen. Don't select windowed or borderless windowed options, and then click on apply to save these changes. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.